Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm back. Welcome to my kitchen again. Well, today I'm gonna be making pastelón. It's basically plátanos, sweet plantains, um, like a lasagna. So check it out. These are the things I use. Making a smaller one. Making about this one. I think that's nine by nine or something like that. You have to use. This one is the best one to use. You see it, Goya adobo, green top. You will be using a lot of monsterella. Everybody make them different, but I like putting green peppers and onions. This is the ground beef. And plantains. You will need maybe about five. And the last thing you will get is two eggs and beat it up. This will use as like a glue, you know, so it can seal it. So it won't leak the, um, the ground beef or anything. Okay. Now basically you grab your plantain, slit on top, slit on bottom. Make a cut. Sweet pantene usually come out real smooth. Make sure you get it as yellow as you can. Next one. Pretty cool how easy it comes off. But this is the very hard part is making them thin layers. Usually you get about four thin pieces off of one. Four or five about there. We'll see right now. Oh this one's giving me a little trouble. But we get out the way. Four. And this is the fifth one. Those are your fly pan team. Now, make sure you have a real sharp knife. Because you're going to have to skin it, basically. Make a fillet. So you grab it and you skin it nice and neat as you can see as you can see this is one now you do it again Do it again. That's two. See? They're thin compared to a whole one. They're thin. So now basically, now I like to flip it and start a new again. So now I get another one on the other side. And we're gonna try to get one more because it's pretty thick. There it goes. So you have from one plantain you get five strips. Now, I wanna keep cutting this and I'll get back when I got them all sliced up. Okay, as you can see, I'm in my last one. I will have approximately maybe um, 20 slices. Oh, 
all together. Make sure you get a, you see this one's a little smooshy. So you're gonna have to, if the plantain is like real soft, make bigger slices or not, you will have this problem. Make bigger slices. Basically, um, try to get one more. But this plantain is pretty soft, so hopefully, I can succeed on this. Oh, see, my knife is pretty good. So that's the last one. Okay, all your plantains are cut, all of them. Let me wash my hands. Always keep your hands clean. So now we have to start cooking the meat and frying the plantains. So now let's go that way. Okay, YouTube, as you can see, this is my oil for frying the plantain. This is my other pan to cook my meat, the ground beef. So basically, I put a little bit of water. This will give out a lot of oil. So basically, put to cook. Put to cook. While that's cooking, I will heat up my my other pan for the oil so I can start frying and planting and basically keep getting the pan together for the pastelon, for the planting lasagna, if you want to say it like that. So while the meat cook, let the meat cook a little bit first and then I'll start basically putting the ingredients putting the adobo the onions and the peppers and all those different stuff once all all the meat turn brown like a light brown you will see when it's cooked right now for sure it's not cooked but I will smoosh it all up it looks crazy and the end is good and the pastelon you put everything together and you will put it in your oven 350 for about 30 minutes so all the cheese can melt basically this is gonna start cooking Place the top so it can heat up faster. Faster heat up, faster is gonna cook. So now the oil is heating up too. So now basically we'll make sure the oil is heated up still, not as watery when it's heat. When it, when it's really hot, it's like it moves real quick. Basically waiting. It's already starting to boil, as you can see. Already starting to boil. Then we basically drain some of this out. We add the flavors, cook it up a little more. By that time, my plantain should be all cooked, hopefully. If not, I'll keep cooking them. Um, it should start getting a little warm. We will. I got both fires on high so they can warm up and cook faster. The oil, you really don't want to cook too hot because that's going to make it burn. So once they get heated up, then I will lower it down just a little bit. This one, I will leave it high because I really want to cook this faster. And when all this water is in there, we're going to drain it. 
Just put a little bit of water. So now I'm gonna grab my first plantain. Yeah, it's warm enough. Perfect. I'm gonna put a couple there. Start cooking. And start cooking. I will place all the plantain on this napkin so it can drain the oil that it stays on it. You put it on here and drain it. There it goes. You definitely don't want to burn them. That was me looking. Cooking good. I let it cook for like two more minutes. Then I'm gonna drain some water out and then I'm gonna start mixing everything up. Make sure you don't burn them. If you leave the fire on high, keep flipping them so they won't they won't burn. A little hot. Everything is going right. Clean things are cooking. You can fast forward a little bit. I'm just trying to show it. I'm going to try to edit a video and put fast forward on it. If not, just fast forward it until you will like it. But it's still cooking. You see, the plantains are starting to cook. As you can see, it's a little crispy. Cook it a little more. Got the meat. It's cooking well. I'm gonna take the meat now. I take this out. Okay. You don't want to burn them. Cook them just a little bit. For the next one, be right back. I'm gonna drain, I'm gonna lower the fire down on this so it won't burn. And I'm gonna take the water and the meat, I'm gonna drain it just a little bit. Be right back. Okay, as you can see, it's not as much water, just a little bit. Just a little bit now. Plantain just sticking together. <laughs> okay, that's all flip. Now in this one, I'm gonna keep cooking it, but now I'm gonna start adding the ingredients. So I'm gonna put green peppers. I'm gonna put some onions. Now I have the adobo. Mix it all together. Now I have adobo. Now with the adobo, you want to cover, basically, you want to give it flavor. 
I'm gonna give it flavor. So usually I just I just cover it all. That's about it. And then I mix it. As you can see, you know, making this usually is nice when you have two people. Because one can make something, the other can make something else. Now, give it a little try. Perfect. Perfect. It has flavor. It's up to you how much salt you want or adobo. It's up to you how you want to make this portion of it. Now, I'm going to cover it up so I can start you know, cooking. I'm going to put it on low fire, low flame. Now basically, back in this side, keep cooking plantains. This is the one that takes the longest. Well, I'm gonna pause it now. Once this finished cooking and I fried all the plantain, I will come back on, cause that's gonna take me approximately maybe like 20 minutes to fry all the plantain. So I'm gonna do that while this finished cooking. So once everything is all set and I've started making the pastelon, I will start recording again and show you what to do next. Well, YouTube, as you can see, the meat is cooked and you see the peppers are cooked plantains are cooked all I have the last three four but usually really three but I broke in half well I'm gonna get these four last done and we're gonna start putting it together. The fun part. This is pretty much cooked. Put the high fires to so cook a little better. touch while the last plantains are cooking. Okay, plantains are done. Mm, it smells so good. The meat is done. Now, let's get it all together. Okay, as you see, the meat, your eggs, the pan, the fried plantains, and the mozzarella. And now, if you have a brush, you use the brush for the eggs, but I don't have one. Okay, so now you got the pan. Now the pan, you have to place the plantains in the pan but try not to leave any holes so if you gotta stack them you stack them a little better remember try not leave no holes anywhere this is why you make a lot of plantains that's why i said five for this size right here so now, as you can see, there's really no opening. And if there is, we will close it up. As you can see, it's like that. So I'm gonna break one. I'm gonna put one in this little corner. 
you know, because you want to cover. You got to break a couple of them, break a couple so you can cover. You can see, it's all covered. So now, this is where the egg kick in. So now, you grab your egg and you put it, because this is what's gonna seal it so it won't leak out. Very important. Put a, with a brush it would be better. But at this moment, I don't have one. And you put it. It's gonna be your sealer. This was gonna bind it together. You know, put enough. Okay. Once that's done, now you get your meat. And you start placing it. Okay, that's that part, pretty much, and I'm going to put another small plantain right here because it's a little open, and make sure it's sealed, a little bit of meat, first the egg to seal it. Grab a little bit of meat. That's set. Now, grab your mozzarella. If you love cheese, you put a lot. It's up to you. And you put it. I'm going to put that much for now. Because I'm going to try to get second layer now again put it put it this so I'm not too worried about. Put this just a little bit. Okay. Put a little bit more meat. Finish it up. Absolutely all the meat. Spread it. Okay. Now thin layer of cheese. That's how you want to build it. Just a thin layer. it with more plantains this one I'm going to try to shut it all the way but this is my final layer
see it looking good you know I'm gonna use all my plantain so basically I really did use five plantains that is good enough as you can see it's all closed now you will finish it up with the mozzarella now you will put this in the oven i used the whole bag of mozzarella we love cheese you know we get a little more get a little more you know cover the best you can like this pot is this pan is small I use the pick up the edges as you can see pick it up like that just to finish up with the cheese it's up to you how much cheese you want to put we really love cheese over here usually my wife Want it with a lot of cheese. You can just see, it's all covered. And that's it. So now you preheat your oven 350 and you leave it in there about 20 minutes once the cheese is all melted. Well, let me get that out the way and I will show you the final piece. Be right back. Well, I can see it's 350. The preheat light is off. Now I will grab the pantalon, pastelon, and I will put it right there and wait 20 minutes. And in 20 minutes, it should be done. Be right back. Well, as you can see, the cheese is melted nice. It smells so good. Now I will take it out and cut it. Well, that is the pantalon done. The basically the plantain lasagna. So let's take a piece. Make sure you go through all the edges. So now, if you see it, Look at how nice that looks. Awesome. See that? Awesome. Well, basically, YouTube, that is a uh, pastelon. It's amazing. It takes about 45 minutes. And let's check 
Check it out. Mm. Amazing. Recommend it. It's very good. Well, YouTube, like and subscribe. We'll have more videos on food and all different types of stuff. I'm trying to help in every way. This Pastor Lord, this plantain lasagna is amazing. Gotta try it. Well, thanks, YouTube.